The feverish Francisco was taken to bed in the house of a Native American family in the town of Samboalan. He infected the family members who infected the neighbors. Within 10 days, Samboalan became a graveyard. Refugees spread the infected neighbors. Within 10 days, Samboalan to nearby towns. As town after town succumbed to plague, new waves of terrified refugees carried the disease throughout Mexico and beyond. The Mayas in Yucatan Peninsula believed that three were gods, Ekpej, Ozenkag, and Sozakag, were flying from village to village at night infecting people with the disease. The Aztecs blamed it on the gods Tezakat, Mipoca, and Sipe, or perhaps on the black magic of white people. Priests and doctors were consulted. They advised prayers, cold baths, rubbing the body with bitumen and smelling squashed black petals on sores. Nothing helped. Tens of thousands of corpses lay rotting in the streets without anyone daring to approach any very them entire families perished within a few days and the authorities ordered that the houses were to be collapsed on top of the bodies in some settlements half the population died in september 1520 the plague had reached the valley of mexico and in october it entered the gates of aztec capital tenic tiland titlan a magnificent metropolis of two like fifty thousand people within two months of least a third of the population perished including the Aztec Emperor uh, Quita La Huac whereas in March 1520 when the Spanish fleet arrived Mexico was home to 22 million people by December only 14 million were still alive smallpox was only the first blow while the new Spanish masters were busy enriching themselves and exploiting the natives deadly wave of flu measles and other infectious diseases struck Mexico one after the another until in 1580 its population was down to less than 2 million two centuries later on 18 January 1778, the British explorer Captain James Cook reached Hawaii. The Hawaiian Islands were densely populated by half a million people who lived in complete isolation from both Europe and America and consequently had never been exposed to European and American diseases. Captain Cook and his men introduced in fresh flu, tuberculosis, and syphilis pathogens to Hawaii. Subsequently, European visitors, typhoid and, and smallpox. By 1853, only 70,000 survivors remained in Hawaii. Epidemics continued to kill tens of millions of people well into the 20th century. In January 1918, soldiers in the trenches of northern France began dying in their thousands from a particularly virulent strain of flu nicknamed the Spanish flu. The front line was the end point of the most efficient global supply network. Men and munitions were pouring in from Britain, the USA, India and Australia. Oil was sent from the Middle East, grain and beef from Argentina, rubber from Malaya and copper from Congo. In exchange, they all got Spanish flu. Within a few months, about half a billion people, a third of global populations came down with the virus. In India, it killed 5% of population, that is 15 million people. And the island of Tahiti, 14% died and some over. 20% in the copper mines of Congo, one out of five laborers perished. Altogether, the pandemic killed between 50 million and 100 million people in less than a year. The First World War killed 40 million from 1914 to 1918.